London was buzzing, jubilee fever, everywhere you looked, Union Jacks fluttered. Eileen and Frank, married for 30 years, couldn't believe their luck. A second honeymoon in London for the Queen's Jubilee. They were giddy, almost like teenagers again. Joining them on this adventure, Eileen's sister Gretchen and her new beau Conrad. Gretchen, a bundle of energy, had everything planned to the minute. Conrad, a bit shy, was just happy to be swept along. This was his first trip abroad. I can't believe we're really here, Eileen. London during the Jubilee. Oh, Frank, it's wonderful. Let's just enjoy the ride. You're right, love. Let's make the most of it. Come on, everyone. We've got so much to see and do. I'm just happy to be here with you all. Frank, ever the pragmatist, worried about the crowds. Eileen, her eyes sparkling, reminded him, Frank, it's London during the Jubilee. Let's just enjoy the ride. A vintage double-decker, painted a dazzling red, awaited them. Union Jack bunting fluttered from every window. Atop, a giant inflatable crown bobbed proudly. The bus rumbled to life, the engine a comforting growl. They were off. Their guide, a jovial chap named Terry, welcomed them with a booming good morning. Terry, they soon learned, was a walking encyclopedia of London lore. He peppered his commentary with jokes and trivia, keeping everyone entertained. As they trundled through the streets, Terry pointed out landmarks, each one seemingly grander than the last. Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, the Houses of Parliament, the bus was a feast for the senses. A constant stream of sights, sounds, and smells washed over them. The air was thick with the scent of exhaust fumes, street food, and a hint of rain. But it was a glorious chaos that only London could offer. The bus rolled past Trafalgar Square, pigeons scattering before them. Nelson's column stood tall, a silent sentinel in the bustling city. Next up, Buckingham Palace. The crowds here were immense but Terry, with a wink, steered them to a perfect viewing spot. Might even catch a glimpse of the corgis, he joked. They didn't see any corgis, but the sheer grandeur of the palace took their breath away. As they drove on, London continued to impress. Tower Bridge, the London Eye, Shakespeare's Globe, each landmark brought gasps of wonder and a flurry of photos. Terry kept up a steady stream of anecdotes, weaving history and humor into his narrative. They were smitten. Holding hands, they listened intently. Their faces lit up with wonder. London, it seemed, was working its magic on them. 